Today on The Garage Engineer, we are working on our console table that has the ash base and poplar top. Um, we're going to have a separate video on that, on the uh, construction of it. But I wanted to show you one thing that I, I think is awesome is there's always an issue of how to attach tops of tables or console tables, side tables, whatever, to the base of any furniture. Now you might be tempted to just screw the base to the top, but then the issue with that is you're going to have over time movement from hot to cold, temperatures and seasons, humidity. The top, the wood, top of the wood is going to expand, usually along the grain line, so it's going to expand, expand wider. If it's screwed directly to the base, then that's going to cause uh, a lot of tension and could warp the board, crack uh, the screw, or even misalign the entire table. So there's different ways you can attach the top to the base to account for those seasonal changes. Uh, some are you cut slots into the base and then you have a metal clip that attaches to the top that sticks into the, the side so it slides back and forth. You can also drill oblong holes into the base and the screws can slide back and forth in there but still it's kind of loose. Um, you're not really getting a, a good fit on there. But what I've used for a long time now which I really enjoy are these. These are figure eight tabletop fasteners. They might look like just stamped pieces of metal, which they are, but there's a, something uh, unique about them is they have a chamfer inside the holes. So when you put your screw into it, then it, it lies flush with the top, which is important for the way you install them. These pieces of metal are about almost an eighth of an inch thick, so they're pretty solid. But the benefit of them, of how they're used, is what makes it unique to account for that movement in the top. So I brought the console table down on the floor, removed the top, and I wanted to show you uh, the clips pre-installed. You've got to recess it down below your base of your wood so when your top sits, it's flush. Then you use a number six screw in the hole, in, it, in, the, in that recessed uh, chamfer that is in the figure eight, the screw sits down in there. Now the reason I like these is because you can get these pretty snug, but the thing is, is when the wood moves, so does the figure eight. So you see it has a little bit of motion. You don't need much, but you've got enough motion in the uh, attachment that it allows the top to move. And then you see I have one matching over here. So now let's go into installing it. So the first thing I want to do is to find the location of where I want to put the figure eight. For the tops, I like to put them on the side rail so that it has movement because the wood of the top is going to move, expand and contract this way. So once I find the location that I want to put it at. I put the figure eight halfway in the middle and then I draw, I trace the circle out. Once we have our figure eight mark where we want it on the base then I take my hand router and I want to recess, uh, cut a recess for the figure eight to sit in. I've got a quarter inch two flute straight bit installed into the router and then to figure out the depth I just take the figure eight and I just set it right on the router base and then I figure out where the, the, the bottom of the uh, end mill is and then I just raise it just a little bit above it. So once that's set, I lock it down, and then we're going to freehand and cut out the uh, portion that we don't need for the figure eight. So now you take your figure eight fastener, stick it in, and it it has plenty of room to move. Now I just take a number six three-quarter inch wood screw and make sure we have the figure eight with the uh, chamfer.
we got all the fasteners attached, let's put the top on. So if you'd like to try out these figure eight tabletop fasteners, feel free to look in the description below. It'll have a link to our Amazon store where you can uh, purchase them. These are great little fasteners and it makes life so much easier uh, attaching your tops. Thanks for watching and remember the ABCs of making. Always be creating. Till next time.